All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, we're back for some more One Piece. Last time we watched episode 966, and today we'll be watching episode 967. Now, in the last video, we went ahead and wrapped up the fairly short lived battle between Roger and Whitebeard, which I was hoping to be far more, you know, crazy considering how strong they are. And, you know, they're essentially at well, I don't think Roger's at his peak necessarily. He said that he was dying. He's got like a, um, he doesn't have long left and he won in one last fight with uh, Whitebeard. So I'm assuming he wasn't at his strongest at this point, but he was still pretty crazy, bro. I mean, they hadn't even made contact with their weapons and they were still destroying the island. I mean, these people are gods amongst men. I don't know how or where or to what extent they're able to, you know get this power or use this power or whatever have you like we didn't see go roger with the devil fruit but of course we know devil fruits aren't the end all be all when it comes to strength in this series you can have no devil fruit and just be an absolute hockey fueled monster or just a monster in general like <laughs> big mom who was just a demon from birth but like these these people are just like you know the one in a billion types of strength that you'd see and seeing two of them clash was just insanity however they're also sort of cool with each other it's like we see this amongst a couple of the pirates like they're not like if they come across each other they'll fight like they were really cutting each other up man <laughs> i'm pretty sure i would be surprised if they killed one another at some point but i mean they just chilled at some point they're like you know let's just have a quick drink i mean <laughs> pirates be pirates i guess but um you know seeing that with like shanks and mihawk like um although they're ready to fight each other like they're they're still cool with each other they'll have a quick drink um big mom and kaido they literally were about to kill each other but then they're like all right we got a common enemy let's have a drink and <laughs> make an alliance real quick uh but regardless after all that we've seen that uh roger was actually already in pursuit of the final island raptel and um he needed the help of somebody who could read the ancient scripts that were written on the poneglyphs of course we know that there are different types of poneglyphs the road poneglyphs um the historical poneglyphs and some other poneglyphs that tell you the location of those poneglyphs and all that um and as of right now i you know keeping track of all the ones that we found is pretty tough but we have found quite a couple on honestly i think on each of the islands that we've been to most of the islands that we've been to um we found some type of poneglyphs starting all the way back in like alabasta um and you know like the road poneglyphs the four main ones that tell you where the final island is are the ones that roger is using in order to complete his journey because he wants to sail all the way around the world and seeing that odin who is a descendant of the kazuki clan who had created the ancient script in the first place is able to read those words he wants him on his ship in order to help him find this island which is really cool i can't wait to find out more about these poneglyphs they've been some of the most mysterious parts of one piece thus far not only detailing well i mean they're literally the key to two of the biggest questions in this series finding the final island finding the one piece and discovering the void century and the ancient history that nobody wants to talk about that the government wiped off the face of the planet the opponent glyphs reveal everything and finding them means that you know <laughs> all like ha like 90 percent of the lore of this series is there like i mean there's still some more as to why the government even did this in the first place who um the gore of say really are and the celestial dragons what their whole entire purpose is and this you know this uh big leader not leader guys shrouded in shadows who's sitting upon the empty throne and all this other craziness there there's still a lot to uncover with this series but slowly but surely we're peeling the layers you know what i mean we're peeling these layers and i hope with this flashback we get just a little bit more info as to what everything means bro what is the one piece roger what did you leave there bro <laughs> what did you do so he takes um he takes uh odin uh suru and the kids onto his ship dog storm and cat viper 
hitch a ride and of course everyone's pissed but roger's like just let him chill they're just animals come on now now we know how dogstorm and cat viper get onto the king of the pirates ship as of right now he's a great pirate but you know what i mean and they just you know they have a little party and they go over to jaya to i guess stock up on supplies and odin still acting all naive is just stealing stuff and gets into a whole altercation but they make it out of there i'm assuming this is how they get into skypea but i might be wrong they might have already gone to skypea but it would make sense that this is the point where he gets to skypea that because you know he writes on the um he writes his own uh script on the uh stone up in skypea and he was uh able to do that in the first place i'm sure because of odin because odin is teaching him how to read and write this uh language so it would make sense that this is the point where he gets there he couldn't have gotten there before because he wouldn't have known how to write that but um i think that's about it so my hopes for this episode is literally just that finding out more about the poneglyphs and roger's adventures especially in his final year or years or however long he has left to live whatever point he gets executed um, but this seems to be the near the end of their journeys because at this point Roger is going to get ex. We know that he's dying and he just surrenders himself. Um, I'm sure Odin is going to go back and see his whole country in disarray, try to save it, but Kaido messes him up. Um, so we'll have to see where this flashback goes at this point. But let's get into it here, episode 967. If you guys would like reactions a day early, join the Discord up to a day early um and if you guys would like reactions up to a week early join the patreon all those links are in the description links in the description as well for the full reaction stream well, google drive one drive you know the drill but let's get into it here no more talking episode 9 67 oh my volume's good let me turn down a little bit cool hey yo ho ho yo ho 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 It's the, it's the hook classic right here, bro. <laughs> it's the pirate classic. Yeah, everyone's jamming. Man, what turned Buggy into such a spiteful little, little cretin? He was such a happy kid. I wonder if Buggy never got his, uh... Yeah, I mean, he was around all these monsters. He never learned some stuff like hockey and all that. Mm, there it is. Yep, they're going to Skypea, bro. They're going to Skypea. To the sky. Yes, sir. Just like Luffy, bro. Just like Luffy. To the sky. <laughs> That's fire. The knock up stream. My gosh, bro! The parallels between Luffy and Roger are just—it's—it's it's so clear what they're doing. <laughs> just like Luffy, or rather, Luffy just like Roger. Roger and Luffy just had the same outlook on adventure and life and all that stuff. Like the parallels are just—they're the same person, dude. <laughs> literally the same person like it's hilarious an island in the sky i don't blame you bro i'm waivers for something different oh boy here we go we in the godly forest roger probably kicked that snake in the jaw bro Look at this trip down memory lane. <laughs> Shandura. The pony glyph. You can read it. So I wonder, maybe it was Odin that wrote it for him and not Roger. Poseidon. Yeah. Mm -hmm, there it is, okay. Yeah, this is where Robin read about it. Go Rogers here. <laughs> Go Roger was out here chilling, you know, with my crew. And I will guide this text to the ends of the earth. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so it was it was Odin that wrote it for him, not he didn't. So he never knew how to read and write it then. Okay. And this is when the Sky Knight was still considered, you know, god of the land before uh, Anel took over. Anel, Eneru, whatever you want to call him. Roger over there laughing. <laughs> yeah. Now just don't jump on it. <laughs> we made that mistake. <laughs> Why did I look like uh, one of the birds Conjuro draws? It started deflating. So it would have deflated either way? Yeah, it deflated pretty high up in the air. God, bro. What was the name of the ship? It was Oro Jackson, right? This is the one that Tom built for him, I'm pretty sure. Since he's so close to the end of his journey. Ganful. I say Ganful, but I, th I think subtitles back then said Ganful. <laughs> Their shit broke too from that fall. Oh, this is where they get the ship now. Okay. Oh, so he got it this late, huh? Wow. The city of water. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. This is really just a little trip down memory lane, bro. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little, a little, uh. Oh, Tom was with Shanks and Buggy, too, bro. That's fire. That is so fire. Just connecting the world a little bit more. <laughs> like a dawn. <laughs> I wonder if the same piece of it, like the Mary broke. Oh my, she's, she scared me, bro. <laughs> she looks so crazy. Oh my god. This man really just making quakes on every step. Bro, Frankie met Odin and he never even knew. That's so crazy, dog. <laughs> that is so insane. Yo, uh oh, they're they're going into the verse. I thought I wanted to start with the yo ho ho ho. <laughs> so many memorable islands that they've been to. For better or for worse, cause Tequila Wolf is pretty trash. <laughs> Saba Odi. Oh, they went to the park. Oh, they didn't even spend much time there. They, they on, they on their uh, they're on a short timer right now, especially with Roger. Yeah, and Odin would know about. Fishman because of uh, Kawamatsu. Is that Neptune? <laughs> My boy Neptune, young warrior. He was king at this point, too. Mm, that's the weapon. That's the weapon. Imagine if this was a prequel series to One Piece. We just had all these little tidbits thrown in <laughs> prior to everything that we've seen. Kidnap your hairy daughter. <laughs> I mean, look at you, bro. <laughs> I really got that song on loop. <laughs> That's the only song we need out here. The rest of the crew dev don't know what's happening with these pawn and man. They just 
<laughs> he's there for the ride. All right, a lot of lore drops in there. Nothing but lore, but on top of that, you know, a quick little, uh, nice little trip down memory lane, re-experiencing a lot of what the crew, I guess highlights of what the crew has seen as far as, you know, the connections to Go Roger and the Poneglyphs and all that. Um, you know, we didn't see the one that was on Alabasta. I guess they never really got to that one. That was, that was a pretty important one, though. That was the ancient weapon Pluton that was being discussed. But we did kind of, you know, go to Water 7, even though it wasn't, you know, the whole Poneglyph thing. But that is what um, uh, Pluton was essentially, uh, you know, referencing the, you know, giant war battle warship or whatever that could essentially wipe out, like, the whole world somehow <laughs> whatever craziness it was